Play series. But quickly before I get into the fishing, I just wanted to mention that once again this video is sponsored by AppNana. They gave me a $10 iTunes gift card for last video, which the 250 diamonds I have and will be using for this one are left over from that. For anyone that doesn't know what AppNana is or hasn't checked it out yet, it's a great way to get some free diamonds. If you want to learn more about them, you can go ahead and click their icon in the bottom right of this video, or you can click on the link that I'll leave in the video description or at the end of the video too. Now let's dive into some fishing. As I throw in my first gold lure here, I'm going to speed the video up since it's going to be a while before we catch our first new fish in this video. Right now I only have two fish left to catch of the original 30 fish and both of these fish can only be caught with the gold lure. Also, both fish can only be found in one area, which is why you only see me fishing in area 3 and 6. In addition to that too, both fish have a small circle size which means that I'm going to have to be extremely picky as I'm going for these final two fish. Some of the ways to try to get a better idea of what fish you have on the line is to look at how much of a fight the fish puts up as well as how long it takes for the outer circle to close in. Since both fish that I'm going for right now are known to put up quite a bit of fight, I should be more picky about which fish I decide to reel in and which ones I just drop off my line since the first few fish that I've caught here have put up some fight but not a whole ton. So far in this video I've only been going after the speckled days which is in only found in area 6 and it seems like after the first few minutes here I don't even think I've actually even had a speckled dace on my line yet which means that it's pretty rare to even just get it on your line so it's even rarer to catch it since it puts up quite a bit of fight and will either sometimes get away or you end up catching a fish you didn't want which is what I've been doing this entire video so far. Looks like I just reeled in another fish which is another yellow bass which I believe is either the third or fourth one so far in this video. And also with that catch I'm out of gold lures so it's time to make some more using those precious gold vouchers which are so so very hard to get. I probably should have definitely been a lot more picky with which fish I reeled in as I'm just now realizing how many gold vouchers I used on this video and how long it actually took me to get all those gold vouchers. And as we reel in another fish here we got another yellow bass. So hopefully from this video everyone can learn what a yellow bass looks like so you know which fish not to reel in. I think since this was my first time using the gold lures I was just really hoping that I'd get lucky and catch the two fish that I needed right off the bat without you know paying too much attention and having to just keep dropping lures to get the correct fish on the line. It seems like I started to become a little more wise here and I'm dropping a few more lures here as these fish aren't putting up too much fight so I'm guessing they're not the speckled dace that I'm looking for. I'm not exactly sure why I decided to go ahead and catch this fish. It's probably just me hoping again that I'm getting lucky but this one didn't put up much fight and as you saw we got another yellow bass. With that catch it's time to make some more gold lures and as we throw this next lure into the lake it looks like we got a fish on the line which as you can see that circle is mo closing in very slowly and it is putting up quite a bit of fight as circle it's pretty big there again and getting pretty close to catching it almost gets away or keeps fighting and finally reel it in and we finally catch the speckled dace which definitely had a lot different fight than the yellow bass that we've caught about four of so far. Now with the speckled dace added to our scrapbook all we have left is to catch the golden trout which can only be found in area three here. It's also another fish that puts up quite a bit of fight so you definitely want to be picky about which fish you reel in so you don't waste all your gold lures or gold vouchers. You'll probably notice a lot of times that I'll have a small circle size and a fish that doesn't put up much fight on that I'll just let go. This is usually because it's not the golden trout since the golden trout puts up quite a bit of fight but will usually not put up fight until you're very close to catching it. What I mean by this is usually when you have the outer circle very close to the inner circle or you have almost caught the fish it'll usually just dart out very quickly which is usually a good indicator that it's the golden trout especially if it does it two or three times. 
As you will probably see a few times here, I have a fish that's very close to being caught, and since I've almost caught it and it hasn't really dashed away or put up a lot of fight, I'll usually let it go since it's most likely not the golden trout that I'm looking for. While I got some time here, I know I told all of you guys in one of my previous videos that I'd be doing another free diamond giveaway at 4,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to cancel doing this 4,000 subscriber giveaway, but the good news is I'll be posting a video within the next week for a huge giveaway that includes tons of iTunes gift cards and some other prizes, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. Also, from now on, I'll be hosting at least one free diamond giveaway every month or two so that there will be more chances for everyone to win. In addition to those videos, I'll also be uploading at least one new video a week from now on. I'll try to keep them a uh, mix between Let's Play and Guides, but it's really up to you guys. Let me know what types of videos you would like to see, whether it be Guides, Let's Play, or anything else. I know I've gotten a few requests for how to decorate your farm, as well as how to use Tom and how to get vouchers quickly. So I'm working on some of those videos, but if you have any other ones, be sure to just comment down below, and I'll be sure to add it to my list of videos that I'll be making soon. Also, if you just have any comments or questions about fishing, go ahead and comment down below, or if you have any questions about heyday in general, or just questions for me, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. It's always nice to hear how other people are doing in this game, so... If you want to talk about how you guys are doing in fishing, what you guys think about it, or just what you guys think about Heyday, it'd be great to hear from some of you subscribers. But now getting back into some fishing, as you can see I'm trying to continue to get a small circle here as I continue to go for the golden trout which is the last of the first 30 fish. So once we catch it here we will have the first 30 fish in our scrapbook all completed. Which means there is only four left, which are the four that were added and can only be caught during the special event. For those of you that are confused by what that means, don't worry, I will explain it in the next video. Since I decided to go ahead and add a seventh part to this quest for the golden trout, which will be the quest for the four new fish that were added. And I guess I will go ahead and continue this video or series if they decide to add any more new fish. Which actually brings up a good question that I would like to hear from some of you guys on. Do you guys think they should add some more new fish or just keep it at the 34 that they have right now? I know for me that with how many vouchers I've used and the fact that I still haven't gotten all my pets yet, uh, I'm not really looking to catch any more new fish once I have completed catching at least one of each of the types of fish. Meaning, I don't know if I'll ever go for catching the three medals for each fish or not, but I definitely like to get at least one of each fish so I have the photo and information unlocked in the scrapbook. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that or what you guys plan to do. Go ahead and comment whether you are just going for one medal for each fish so you have the picture unlocked in the scrapbook or if you're going for all three medals of each fish or if you're actually just not even really fishing and trying to save up your vouchers for the pets right now. Back to the let's play. As you can see this fish isn't putting up too much of a fight but I decided to go ahead and catch it hoping that it'd be a golden trout. And as we make another gold lore here looks like we are down to only having one gold voucher left. Meaning with the one gold lore I have right now I only have two more chances at catching this golden trout without going and getting some more of those very 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 rare gold vouchers. Looks like we got a fish on the line here with a small circle and it's actually putting up a bit of a fight and as we almost catch it there kind of rushes out of the circle which makes me think that this might be a golden trout. Although when we get closer to catching it the second time it doesn't put up much of a fight so that should have been a good indication that it wasn't the golden trout and I should have just dropped the line. Looks like we're down to our last gold lure here, and as we throw it in and hopefully get a fish on the line here, uh, we can see that we have a nice very small circle, and already this fish is putting up a bit of a fight. As you can see, we come very close to catching it, and kind of darts out and keeps darting around, which is definitely a good indication that this might be the golden trout. And as we finally catch it there, we can see that we finally caught the golden trout. 
which is the last of the 30 fish that we had to catch. And as we go over to our scrapbook here, we can go ahead and open it up and collect the diamonds for the new fish that we caught today, which include the speckled dace, the golden trout, and a few other older fish that we got some more diamonds for. And now with that completed, we can flip back to the front of our scrapbook. And as we can see, as we flip through each page, we have a beautiful four fish on each page. And pictures for all the original 30 fish, which completes our scrapbook up to the second to last page. Where we can see the only fish we have left are the final four, which can only be caught during the special event. Which will actually be part seven 